Hey there, let me show you how you can make a hole in an object using Tinkercad. So first we need a solid object. You can select from groups like basic shapes, your favorite objects, or any other structure that is available on the right side. So I will stay with basic shapes. We will do a classic cube here. We can make it way larger by pulling the corner we can make it way higher by pulling this middle control point like that all right so how can i now make a hole in this object we need another object that we're going to use as the hole so let's say i got the cube again let me change the color of this one so this blue one will be used as the object that created a hole in this bigger one so be sure to Position this object, the second one, correctly, exactly in the location that you need that hole to happen. Then we're going to transform this object into the hole type. So, in my case, I will just move it up here. I want to put it kind of like inside this object, a bit lower. Okay, and now I'm changing the second box from solid to hole it will become this gray transparent like color but that's still an object inside another object not the hole yes so now the final step let's select both of them so both shapes are selected the red one is a solid object and the smaller one is the whole object and now we're going to group them together so click the group button at the top and here it is we create a hole in object using a different one that was set up as the hole type and here it is we create a hole in that box using the smaller box so the final step if you want to create a hole you set up everything nicely is to group them together and then you will get this result keep in mind you can even ungroup them and it will be back to this. So we can modify this another one right now. And then we can group them again. And here's another hole. Now we turn it into kind of L shape. So that's non-destructive way. We can always group and ungroup them multiple times. I hope this short tutorial was helpful. Let's watch the next Tinkercad tutorial here.